Be careful, animal crossing zone. This should be the restaurant. It's even more quiet. Bali Tower. Wow, I'm glad that we did this. Starting a new trip. We yeah, are yeah. New trip. and we are going to Sumberkima Hill Retreat. We have been there before, so we know a little bit what what it is like. We are in a beautiful uh, two different villas that we are doing. Uh, maybe it's also going to be two vlogs, and we now going to be more doing more activities. I'm really looking forward. It's three and a half hours drive. So first we have a lot of time to talk, to drive before we arrive. We're almost there, five minutes drive and it's raining. So arrival is in the rain, hopefully the other days will be better. Waking up here at my birthday, you see in my face, I'm just waking up. I slept already at 9.30 and it's now 6.30. I have a rhythm here in Bali. Yeah, I almost feel ashamed that I'm at 9 o'clock, I start to feel tired. 9.30 I sleep and mostly I wake up at 5 Now I woke up at 6 And now it's 6.30 It's beautiful to wake up here at my birthday I asked Urti what time I make I am allowed to make him To wake him up And that's at 7 So I wait a little bit There's one thing that I have Since I'm a child and that is when I wake up I'm like oh, Excited for today and so I immediately have uh, energy, the motor is on. And yeah, so now this morning I was really waiting like, oh, on what time am I allowed to wake up Uti? And I felt like a child. And this feeling is always with me. Like this child is like, new day, excitement. And then also what I also do my whole life, I immediately want to open the curtains, I immediately, had to make up the bed and that's my start it's like what will this day bring so yeah it's it's my nature and i'm really happy that i have this nature of enthusiasm it's like yeah like a child today yes it is my birthday and i was choosing like what to do on my birthday we are going to the west national park i saw some pictures on instagram from a beautiful lake some animals i don't know what we will see um but we just go and we will go on an adventure and let exp us experience what is meant so i'm here now going to eat because my breakfast was just some chia seeds and some fruits i think it's not enough food before snorkeling and it's almost 12. i don't know about the local food i'm curious uh, but i'm really like hungry and i need something to fill up my, my stomach before we go into the water and actually i really like the nasi goreng and it reminds me of my childhood I always loved nasi goreng, but I never wanted to have the eggs. And I still, until today, I don't like eggs. So I'm happy that this is separate. It's like, oh, I forgot this was my favorite dish as a child. So, yeah, maybe I have to eat this more often. Okay, 
Okay, so we are going on this boat. And the boat is already running. We go from here to the island. It's just 30 minutes. And meanwhile, we will just relax, enjoying the view, the wind. recovery from his knee so what we do instead we do the snorkeling and a lot of people say that this is their favorite place of snorkeling so really curious and we have our GoPro so we go with the GoPro and we will show you beautiful on the on the water world I'm ready to go into the water but even while like I'm Pisces I'm Cancer it's all water water in my star sign not really a water person I love the water but to go deep down so I'm doing my best or is teaching me and let's see if we can have some beautiful shots of After snorkeling, which was really beautiful. This is an intermittent island, so there's no people, only animals. So let's go. birthday presents it was amazing to be in the underwater world to make good videos and just like experience more from Bali I'm so happy this is a treat from the Sumbakimi uh, Sumbakima hill retreat we have two cakes and here there's Rita happy birthday I really love those kind of things uh, so I think as a traditional you have to blow out the can candles for your wish I have a lot of wishes and on the other hand I'm so happy with everything already just let's wish for even better than it already is yeah Bye. <laughs> And now we are at the Sumbakima Hill Retreat. We've been here before and it's so, so different. So the previous time that we were here, I think it was in March, it was not as green as it is right now. Then we did the hiking, everything was orange, uh, brown. Now everything is green. So it's really beautiful to see the, the nature now. And you have great activities also when you want to connect with nature. The previous time we did the canoeing and the hiking. Now Uti has the recovering of his knee so we did other things yesterday we went with a boat to an uninhabited island which you can see in this, in this vlog and we've been snorkeling we saw a most beautiful underwater world with beautiful fishes and we are staying in another villa this villa, villa is called Murai and it's really cozy it's beautiful we feel very comfortable so I would like to show you a little bit about this villa and give you a tour so here you come into this villa with an amazing view and a swimming pool to cool down because it can be hot. Also a very nice chill out over there 
also nice for in the evening and we really like also the relaxing couch that you feel calm, comfortable and then which is also important for us a space that you can work because we are editing videos and we do some other work so we like this table and also when you have dinner that you can have like a comfortable space to eat so this is nice then you have a kitchen also um, a bedroom so it's nice because it's the air conditioning and i really like that because this is a protection for the mosquitoes it's so easy how it works and i also like how you can put your clothes that you can hang it and yeah it's uh, it's nice this space then you have an open bathroom come with me so this is really open you can take a shower you feel relaxed because you have so much space you can put your towels here practical thing you even have a bath outside and that's here and when you're in the bath you can also look to this amazing view like connecting with nature we are on our way to something that we don't know the name of both but we know the google maps place it's part of the west national park and we are not sure if we are able to go there because it's a resort and we are just visitors no guests so let's see and we are also a little bit afraid of the rain it's a very cloudy dark cloud so maybe it's also gonna rain but we like some adventure and we also can highly recommend you if you're traveling in Bali during this time like 2022 but also 2021 it was the same maybe next year also we can highly recommend you to rent a car because you have your own freedom you can decide your own times and yeah also in these times you can be the own tourist which we were yesterday then later on we saw some friends tourists snorkeling but yeah it's very very quiet and uh, that's why it's easier to hire a car to rent a car than uh, taking all the taxis. Professional driver, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Good. Good. On the gate there was written God's secret. Yes, hello. Now we see a board. started okay uh, you have some clarity the Bali tower is closed uh, yeah closed and then we had some other things we wanted to see it's not here or it's also closed yeah it's raining now we are just going to a restaurant and see whatever and otherwise we can always go back be careful animal crossing zone let's go Okay, there we have something, the National Eco Tourism Project. This seems to be the best in everything, so this will be amazing, but with the rain, I'm not sure what we can do. Okay, we should almost arrive. So much to do in this park. You can also ride a horse, there's the jungle. There's a lot of activities, so if you're in Bali, definitely go here. We are not so lucky with the rain. Maybe we go another day and things are closed yet. Yeah, that's of course because it's not really touristy in 2022. Okay, I feel a little bit like Beauty and the Beast. Do not enter, but then actually inviting like guard secrets on the gate. Do not enter. What place is this? Trails of life, left or right? Yeah, so we can enter to the octagon, is it? Yeah. Should 
be a special place because there's a minimum spend of 150k per person and because we had to drive all the way to this forest so now I'm feeling like it should be kind of yeah yeah a luxury place because they are the best in everything else so they are the best in the luxury resorts and restaurants so let's see okay yeah we will show you the restaurant but the first impression is like not luxury and nobody is there maybe if we should have chosen the other place because this is on the beach this is not with minimum spent It's from, it's from Amsterdam. Ah. If this should be the restaurant, it's even more quiet than the other one. This is it. Okay. Oh, with the swimming pool. spectacular we wanted to wish we wanted to give you something more spectacular but yeah not always a success but we're not done yet okay, so these are the houses that you can stay in if you walk the wrong direction these are the houses so you can rent a house on the beach in west national park in the northwest of bali and there is a restaurant that we are going to check out. Two restaurants are here. Let's see. God works through mysterious ways. Have faith, do your best and let God do the rest. Okay, we found Bali Tower. It's close, but we still wanna go. This is Bali Tower. to fly the drone. I think we just go to the top, right? National Park is really big and there's a lot to do. You can also ride a horse, you can ride a bike, like mountain biking, you can do, I don't know, but we are just discovering that this is huge and a lot of activities, only no tourists. to give you a little villa tour we are at Sumberkima hill retreat there are so many villas this is our fourth villa and this is called Yai. come with me so we are gonna enter my bedroom i'm sleeping here these days i'll turn on some light so you can see a little better and i really like these baths and the protection for the mosquitoes but also that you have a nice area if you want to work for example to storage your clothes and then i like the bathroom a lot come with me i already opened the door and here you have an open bathroom like so badly and i love this that you have the open air a nice hot shower and also a lot of space you can even take a bath and a good space to do your makeup, to look yourself into a mirror. And 
Let's go to the living room. You see, you have a lot of space in this villa. You can choose to relax down and have, for example, read a book here. You can have these little lights. It's nice to chill out. You also have a huge couch where you can relax. And the view is just amazing. about this villa is this big table so we have one space where we eat that's this side and the other space is where we edit the videos the photos or do some writing so we love this big table to have space and to do some work this villa has two bedrooms this is the second bedroom come with me and you have again a really nice bed I have a bathroom a bit different not open air but good enough. Okay, it's time to pack our bags and leave this beautiful place. And I have to say, each travel that we do, it gives so much, yeah, fulfillment, uh, new experiences. Um, I feel like enlightened for just experiencing this beauty of Bali. And yeah, what I take from this journey actually that Together you are so much more and when you are in your power and you connect your power with someone else's power, you amplify it and it's yeah, going through the roof and it's so uh, so much joy that, joy that it brings when you work together with people. Because yes, I also have a team around me and I feel so blessed with them. And I think as an entrepreneur during your years, you also experience the other side that you work with people say, ah, this is not it. Or people are not honest or they're not matching but if you find the right people around you and this is also for your private life it will give you so much strength and power and that's how i feel at the moment um so i go home with a yeah great feeling of fulfillment and it's also so nice that i love this place so much but i'm also looking forward to go back to Chiangu. okay and see you in my next vlog or next video Ah, yes, so we thought the trip was over and we thought, let's go home. And I closed my vlog, but then suddenly on the way back, I said, hey, let's go to Mundo Cabins. I love this place, how, I, how it looks. I would like to go there. We went there and then we got a whole like um, a tour towards uh, Mundo Cabins. Then we end up in a beautiful restaurant. So life has always a surprise and sometimes when you think it's the end, it's exactly a new beginning. So our end of this trip was a new beginning and it will lead to the next journey. <sighs> Just feeling so good and I'll see you in the next vlog. What I also wanted to say, I don't know if this can be the vlog. Um, yes, um, I love traveling and maybe that is why you watch my videos, but I'm also definitely into personal development, spirituality, plant medicine. Plant medicine is really my path. And if you don't know me, I've been working with ayahuasca for many years. I trained myself to even lead the ceremonies. And this changed my life so, so much. The plants have been guiding me into my, yeah, on my path in my life towards the most beautiful experiences. So if you feel like, hey, what is this plant medicine and what's Maria Joanna doing next to this traveling and vlogging? Yes, I'm living in Changu. I'm working on writing a book. Uh, I published already a book that I want to republish. Uh, I have a lot of podcasts on YouTube. So if you want to get to know me better or if you want to know more about me, check my other videos and I hope you like it. <laughs>